Hello and welcome to this tutorial to accompany week four of my Picnic on the Beach Blanket Crochet Along. I'm Elio Nora, the designer behind Coastal Crochet and all the details about this blanket can be found over on my website www.coastalcrochet.com. So this tutorial is for rows 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 and that's basically these kite rows that you see here. So remember I use UK crochet terminology, I do translate to US as we go along and also these tutorials are not to replace the written pattern so do have a copy of the written pattern to hand to make sense of the stitches as we work through these fun little kite rows and so I hope you find the tutorial helpful. So at the end of row 8 we should have joined with yarn D ready to move on to row 9 which is the first row covered in this tutorial and we begin row 9 by making one chain and this doesn't count as a stitch. So the first stitch to crochet into on this row is the very first stitch here and looking at the pattern we begin row 9 with one double crochet US single crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four and five. But stop here because if you look at the pattern it tells us to change to yarn F at the last yarn over hook of the final stitch. So this is the last stitch in this set of five and at this point, the final yarn over hook, we're simply going to join with yarn F. Like so. And now we're going to make our first kite, the base of our first kite. And so if you look at the pattern, it tells us to miss five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. So we're not going to crochet in or around these five stitches. But instead, we're going to work all the stitches that are in the brackets around the eighth stitch in from the right edge below in row five. So remember, we're currently crocheting row nine. This is row eight. This one here is row seven. This is row six. This one here, the first of our sand colored rows, is row five. So the stitches are sitting just above this blue ridge here. And the eighth stitch in from the right, remember the beginning to chain counted as a stitch on this row. So there's the first right at the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one here is the eighth stitch in from the right and the post of it sits just above the blue ridge and that's the stitch that we're going to be doing everything around in these next instructions. And so looking at the pattern, we now do one raised triple treble front. That's your front post double treble in the US where we wrap the yarn around the hook three times. And we're going to do that around the eighth stitch in from the right edge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. And then insert your hook around the post of this stitch in the fifth row from front to back round to the front again like so and complete your triple treble that's the US double treble as normal so yarn over pull through to the front and then it's yarn over pull through two 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 it's a nice tall stitch you just pull the blue yarn and your ends there just to tighten it there we go, so that's the first stitch. So everything in the brackets, we're doing around this same stitch. So if you look now at the pattern, it tells us to do two chain, one, two, and then it's one raised double treble front. That's your front post treble in the US where we wrap the yarn around the hook two times. And we're going to do that around the same stitch. So from front to back, round to the front again, and then complete your double treble. US treble. So yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so now we make two chain. One, two. And now there's one more stitch to do in this set, um, which is in the brackets, and that's a 
raised triple treble front. So that's your front post double treble in the US. So again, we wrap the yarn around the hook three times and around the same stitch, insert your hook from front to back, round to the front again and complete the triple treble US double treble. So yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, but stop here because if you look at the pattern, it tells us to change back to yarn D at the last yarn over hook of the final stitch. So that's this point here. This is our final yarn over hook. So just let your yarn F fall that way and locate your blue yarn, yarn D, which is here. And what we want to do is we don't want to pull it too tight. So there's the strand. Let's now join it at the last yarn over hook into that stitch like so. Give the green a little tug, but we don't want this strand to be too tight. We don't want to, to pull in the work too much. We want the kite to sit apart like so. So let the blue strand go right across the width of the kite. Um, and we will be crocheting around this blue strand on the next row. So don't worry that it's exposed and it looks like that because we will be crocheting around it. So there we go. I've joined with yarn D at the final yarn over hook of that final stitch. And now looking at the pattern, we now do one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. So remember we were missing five, one, two, three, four, five. And so the next stitch to go into is this one here. We we're missing five, one, two, three, four, five. Here's the stitch where we're going to be doing the first of these nine double crochet, US single crochet. But we want to crochet around yarn F because we want to be carrying that um, along the work ready to make our next kite later on in the row. So double crochet, US single crochet as normal like so. Give yarn F a little tug just to neaten the kite a little bit like so. So nine double crochet, US single crochet, that's one, that's two, that's three, four, remember we're crocheting around yarn F and here is nine, but stop there because at the end of this final stitch, the ninth stitch, we are going to be rejoining to yarn F. So just turn your work to the back. You can see yarn F, the green one is being carried through. Give it a little tug, not too tight, but just so that any bits that might be peeking through are pulled nice and neatly. Let your yarn D, the blue yarn, let that just go like so. And here is yarn F. And now we join that now by pulling through at the final yarn over hook of the ninth double crochet, US single crochet. And so we're now in the position to make our next kite base. And looking at the pattern, we miss the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to miss these five stitches. And instead we're going to crochet around the fourth stitch in from to the left of these raised stitches here. You might want to put one, two, three, four, five. You might want to put a little stitch marker into this stitch here because this is where we're going to be crocheting our double crochet US single crochet stitches in later once we've done the kite. That's up to you. But these five stitches we're missing. And if you look here, here's the set of raised stitches and either and here's the next set of raised. If you look down in row five, which is this row here above the blue ridge, we have seven stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the fourth stitch along, one, two, three, four, is this one here. So it's the middle stitch of this set of seven that sits between the raised stitches. So one, two, three, four, there's the stitch that we're going to be doing all the next stitches around and it's everything in the brackets. So we begin by doing the raised triple treble front. That's your front post double treble. Wrap the yarn around the hook three times and go around that fourth stitch. 
one, two, three, four. There's the fourth stitch from front to back, round to the front again. And then complete your triple treble, US double treble as normal. Yarn over, pull through, and then it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And now we make two chain, one, two, and now it's one raised double treble front. That's your front post treble. Wrap your yarn over the hook twice and go around the same stitch, front to back, round to the front again, and completely double treble, US treble. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we make two chain, one, two, and now it's one further raised triple treble front. That's your front post double treble. Wrap the yarn around the hook three times and we're going around the same stitch like so from front to back, round to the front again. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and stop there because this is the final yarn over hook. And at this point, we're going to be rejoining with yarn D. And so if you look at the back, there you can see yarn D, the blue yarn. We're gonna pull that like so. Again, not pulling it too tight. We don't want to ruck up the work. You want it just to be going along the top of that kite. Rejoin with yarn D like so. Give yarn F a little tug and you can see it's trailing neatly along the top. And like I said before, we will be crocheting around that blue strand on the next row to hide it. So there you can see we've now made two kite bases and you can see how we're getting that lovely classic kite shape. And so now looking at the pattern, it's repeat from star four times. So go back to star and that is where we're doing the one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the next nine stitches, remembering to crochet around yarn F, so that carries invisibly along, and then we make our next kite. So we've got four more of these kites to make with nine double crochet, US single crochet stitches in between. And remember now we're missing the five stitches, so one, two, three, four, five. Here's the next stitch to go into. Remember going underneath yarn F so that we can crochet around that like so. And now we carry on. So I've just completed my final repeat. As you can see, we now have the bases of the kites sitting between the sand castles and we should have six kites in total. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now to finish the row, it's simply one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the final four stitches. So have a look back here, just on my final kite. Remember we're missing the five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. So the next stitch to go into is this one here. And we do one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the final four stitches. So that's one, this is two, this is three, and of course our very final stitch is the top of the two chain made at the start of the previous row, going onto the two strands like so and complete your double crochet, US single crochet. And there we go. So now turn the work, we're ready to move on to row 10. And so row 10 begins with one chain, which does not count as a stitch. So the very first stitch to crochet into is the first one of the row. And we're now going to do one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the next four stitches. So that's one, that's two, three, and this one here is number four. 
So now the following stitches are going to be crocheted into the missed stitches from row eight. So those five stitches that we missed when we were doing the, the kite stitches, it's those five stitches that we're now going to be crocheting into. And we also want to crochet around this blue strand here so that it's really neatly tucked away. So all we're doing now is one double crochet US single crochet in each of the next five stitches, but it's these missed stitches. So there's the first one and obviously insert your hook so it goes under the blue strand. We really want to crochet around that. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And so you can see we have really neatly crocheted around that blue strand. So it's now disappeared behind the kite. And so now it's one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. And that's these blue stitches that we did between the kites. But be very careful to pay attention to crochet into the first and last of these nine stitches. You can see the first one is there. And it's a little bit tighter because this is where we did the color change for the kites um, stitches. And so it's not as easy to see, but it is there. Just pay attention to crochet into it. It's a little bit tighter as well. But there's the first one and it's one double crochet, US single crochet in each of these nine stitches. One, two, three, eight and here's nine sometimes this one's a little bit tighter as well it's completely fine here but just pay attention to crochet into the first and last of these set of nine stitches going across like so and you can see how neat it's looking at the front and so now um, we are back at the five stitches here that we're going to crochet into from row eight going around the strand behind those kite stitches. So it's one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the next five stitches in row eight. So that's one, two, three, four, And that's five and we've gone around that blue strand. And so now repeat from star four times, which is again where we're now doing one double crochet, US single crochet in each of these nine stitches and then the five stitches at the next kite. So repeat that all the way to the end of the row. And when you repeated that five times, you should still have five stitches at the end of the row to work into. And it's simply one double crochet, US single crochet into each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And so we turn the work now, we're ready to move on to row 11. And so now for row 11, we have the right side of the work facing and we can see what we have done so far in these kite rows. So there is the kite and the blue strand now is completely tucked away. So it's looking really, really neat. And row 11 is simply a row of ordinary treble US double crochet stitches. So make three chain, which does count as a stitch. So now the first stitch to crochet into is not this first one, but the next one here. And so it's simply one treble US double crochet in each stitch to the end. So here I am at the end of row 11, um, worked one treble US double crochet into each stitch. And now what we do is we don't fasten off yarn D. We're going to be rejoining this later. So at this point, remove your hook from the loop and then we can use a stitch marker. One of our lovely ones. These are from Mrs. G makes and pop that into the loop. 
like so. Um, that will just hold the loop fast until we rejoin yarn D later. And so what we now do now is we do not turn the work. So keep the right side of the work facing, but let's go back to the beginning of row 11. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to join yarn E to the top of the three chain that we made at the beginning of row 11. So there's the beginning three chain. Um, there's the stitch, obviously, because these stitches are with the right side facing, they sit just to the right of the post. So there's one stitch, there's the other stitch, and it's the top of the three chain. So these two strands here, insert your hook under those two strands, like so, and we join with yarn E. And so now in row 12, we're going to be making the top halves of our kites. We begin this row simply by making one chain, doesn't count as a stitch. And so what we do is we work one double crochet, US single crochet into the same place that we've joined our yarn. So into the same place at the top of that three chain, insert your hook and work a double crochet, US single crochet like so. And now it's one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the next six stitches. So that's one, two, and that's six. So now we're at the point where we're going to make the top half to our kites. And so we're gonna miss the next stitch. So this stitch here, we're not going to crochet in or around it and if you have a look we're going to now do raised double treble front three together around the three raised stitches below from round nine so what that means is we're going to be doing three raised double treble front that's your front post treble in the US and we're going to do the three stitches together so I'll show you what that means so we begin by wrapping the yarn around the hook twice and now insert your hook behind the first raised stitch, but also the two chain. So you're going under both the, the stitch and the two chain with your hook like so. Yarn over, pull through to the front and then finish the double treble, US treble stitch as normal. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, but stop there because we're going to be joining these stitches all together. So now we're gonna wrap the yarn over the hook twice because we're going to do our next raised double treble, our front post treble around this central stitch here, like so. So insert your hook around the post of that central stitch, yarn over, pull through, then it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and stop there. Okay, we've now got three loops on the hook. We've got one more double treble, US treble stitch to make. So wrap the yarn around the hook twice. And this time we're gonna insert our hook underneath this two chain and the post of the stitch there, like so. Yarn over hook, pull underneath those two, like so. And then it's yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two, and you should have four loops, one, two, three, four, on the hook. So we've done three raised double treble front, or three front post treble, and to do them together, what we do now is we do yarn over hook and pull through all the loops on the hook. And there you can see we've made the top to our kites. You can just give it a little tug to really neaten the stitches, so that they aren't pulling too much. And there you go. That's our first kite. And so now if you look at the pattern, we do one double crochet, US single crochet, in each of the next 13 stitches. Now remember we were missing this stitch, so this one here we were missing. And so the next one to go into is this one here, and it's one double crochet, US single crochet, in 13 stitches. Two, three, 
and this one's 13. So there is what the work is looking like now. And we're now at the point where we make our next kite, the top to our next kite. So if you look at the pattern, it tells us to repeat from star four times. So go back to the star and we're now at the start of our next um, kite, the top of our kite. So having repeated that four times, we now have the tops to our kites going across the row. We still have one more to do. So looking at the pattern, we just do the raised double treble three together around this final kite. One. Two. And that's three. And yarn over, pull through all the loops. And then to end the row, it's one double crochet, US single crochet in each of the final six stitches. Remember, we're missing this one that sits directly behind the top of the kite. And so there's the next one to insert your hook into. And we simply work one double crochet, US single crochet into each of these six stitches. Two three, four, five, and here is six. Remember we had that loop. So to do this final one, insert your hook into the stitch as normal, go to complete your double crochet, US single crochet, and at this point, you can remove the stitch marker from the loop, insert your hook into that loop, because we're going to be rejoining yarn D, let yarn E go and now pull this loop through the final stitch like so. And so now we're ready to turn the work, ready to go on to row 13. And so row 13 begins with three chain, which counts as the first treble US double crochet stitch. And so it's one treble US double crochet in each of the next five stitches not the first one because the three chain counts as a stitch. So here's the next one. And so it's five. So that's one, two, three, four, and here's five. And so now it's one raised treble back, that's your back post double crochet around the next stitch, but that next stitch is the top of our kite. So it's going around all three of these raised stitches that we brought together into one. So this is where we did our three raised double treble, three stitches together. So these three stitches we brought together into one, and now we want to go around that one stitch but making sure that we capture all three of those raised stitches. So yarn over hook and then insert your hook behind all of those stitches like so, grabbing them all like so. Yarn over hook, pull it through. So you've got the three loops on the hook and then it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over pull through two. And what that does, as you can see, it just really neatens the top of the kite, bringing all those stitches together like so. And so now we carry on with one treble US double crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. Remember that this gappy stitch here is the top of those three stitches that we brought together. So we don't go into there. Here's the first stitch to go into. So one treble US double crochet in each of the next 13. One, 12, 12 and here's 13. So we've gone along all those stitches which brings us now to the top of the next kite. And so this is where we want to do the raised treble back going all the way around these stitches. So it's one raised treble back, back post double crochet around this next stitch. So insert your hook like so, making sure we get all off the top of that stitch. 
and then yarn over hook, pull it through like so, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, you can see how it's neatened the top of that kite. And so repeat everything in the brackets five times in total um, till we get to the end of the row. So now it's one treble, US double crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. Remembering that this here, you can see is the top of where we've brought those stitches together. So here is the first stitch to crochet into. So repeat what we've done all the way to the end of the row. So I've repeated everything in the brackets five times. So we've now gone around the top of all the kites. And now to finish this row, row 13, it's simply one treble US double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. One, two, and here's seven. So we turn the work and I'll show you what these rows are looking like. So here is what the work is looking like from the front. We've got six of these sweet little kites. One, two, three, four, five, and six going across the work. So a really lovely, fun effect and using these raised stitches to create these sweet little kites. So that's the tutorial complete for these rows, rows 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. I haven't done a tutorial for rows 14, 15 and 16 for this week because they are simply rows like these ones here that we did at the start of week four and I've done a tutorial for those rows. So we don't fasten off, we keep yarn D fastened to move on to row 14 um, and like I said they are rows like these ones here. So that's the tutorial for the kite rows and I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.